Hi guys, welcome to my new video of my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about modifier list. So where we can find the modifier list? At the right side, there is a tab. There is a second option called modify. Like after create, there will be a second option called modify. So actually there are many modifier lists. So I'm not going through the, all of the modifier list, but I will be explaining what all important modify list we need to know first i will show with the box so what all modifiers we can apply in the box we can see so first modifier i'm going to tell is bent so if you will type b or if you will type the first alphabet of any modifier you will go into the directly into that modifier so if, if i press b i will get bent so what bend is for example if you want to I will make this box of a rectangular shape like a rectangular tube so suppose this is a rectangular uh, rectangular piece so I want to bend in like an arc form so I want to bend this rectangle into an arc form so what we will do for this one we need to apply some segments let's say five segments each so if we'll go to bend, <coughs> sorry. So if we'll go to bend, we will just roughly give an angle like 45 degrees. So we see this is not the desired result we need to get. If you will change the bend axis, see. And now you change the angle, like you can increase it and how much you want. So you can bend this object. So if you will increase the uh, width segments, it will become more smoother and it will show in a bend phase. Next modifier we are going to talk about is called cap holes. So for that I will take a cylinder. I will take a cylinder. I will reduce the height segment. So I will convert this into editable poly and I will delete one of the top phases here. So suppose you have an object like this. So if you want to close the top part. If you press CA, <clears throat> you will get, if you go down, you will get cap holes in C section. So just press it. So you can see the top phase is closed. So that is about cap holes. Next modifier is one of the most important modifier which I use, which is called chamfer. So again, we are going to draw a box here. I will reduce the segments. I'll make it one by one by one. So you want to smoothen the edges so for that you apply the modifier called chamfer normally before we used to do uh, we select we convert into edit poly and select all the edges and apply uh, chamfer tool but after that we can't we can't uh, redo or come back to the original shape or if you want to change the smoothness values and all it's not possible in when we do it in edit poly so for that we apply chamfer so there we have amount value so if you press 5 it becomes more smooth we'll make it 3 and if you will increase the segments it will be like the edges will be like very smooth and curved and anytime <clears throat> we can come into this object and the modifier will be there and later anytime we can change the values and change the smoothness of it change the curve value of it so that is about chamfer next i am talking about is edit poly so what edit poly does so the difference between edit poly and editable poly is so once you make changes in the editable poly and after one hour of working if you feel like the changes which you have done in the box uh, you need to undo it and bring back it to its original shape but it's not possible you need to redo it again from the start so for that what we require is if you're not sure of the shape like after making some changes if you're not sure whether this will be final or there can be some changes come after that so for that all the changes you should be you are going to do in a modifier called edit poly so if you will press ed you will get edit poly so it'll show what how we do this so you go into the edit poly so select the polygon let's say you are 
extruding you're extruding this one i'll show the vertex and edges so and i will apply one more edit poly above this one i will take this face and apply extrude let's say i will take one more edit poly sorry i will take one more edit poly and i will bevel this one so i have made a shape like this i have made an object like this edited like this so after half an hour of working i felt like no i need to change this and i want to get back into those original position so you don't need to redraw it again you just switch off all the all the modify you had done here so you have done three steps here so anytime you can switch on and switch off it so that is the beauty about edit poly so and once you are fixed with the object you don't need to uh, you don't need these modifiers to be there so you need to clear these off so just right click and just press collapse all so just press yes then it will convert to edit tool poly or just right click and you can convert it to edit tool poly any way you can do it only when you are fixed with the object so next i am going to show is a modifier called ffd box so for that i am drawing a box here i am giving some segments 444 so you are applying ffd box here so here you can see set number of points so here you can see 4 by 4 by 4 which means there are like four vertexes everywhere divided each other so if you'll make it like 3 by 3 by 3 it will again it will convert into 3 by 3 by 3 so what we can do is like uh, you can go into this arrow of the FFT box and you select control points and you can if you want to increase the scale or if you want to curve this one or if you want to curve only these two vertexes down and one up so to whatever shape you like so if you will so you can move two vertices inside and create some interesting shapes here so for that we use ffd and let's say you are applying other modifier called chamfer for that so now you will increase the value like three by three you will increase the segment so you have got some interesting shape here and you want to smooth the object so if you want to create rocks and all and all so for uh, yeah so that's about ffd box next we are talking about lattice we are drawing a box again for this one so we let's say we are giving 25 by 25 by 25 segments and now it is a solid complete box here so you want to create a cage cage effect by these lines so for that we go to we will click l and get lattice so in parameters option you will see joins only on vertex you will see strut only on vertex and you will see bo both so you just want to click struts only from edges and you will reduce the struts value 0 0.05 depends upon the uh, units you are doing so now we got a cage like a cage like effect here so if you want to create some mesh patterns or interesting patterns and all you can do by this